Hello everybody, it is me, the Gaming Fox, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be going over the top 10 best sports cars in Greenville. Now, there are a few things that, or there are a few uh, requirements that these cars need to uh, meet before they can actually like make it or be on the list. It is number one, they can't seat more than five. Number two, they have to be a coupe. Number uh, three, they can't be a game pass, and that's basically it. So yeah, tell me what cars you would think on the list, but we're gonna have two honorable mentions. So the first honorable mention is the 2006 Chevron Zafiro, Zafiro, uh, SS. This is a, based on the 2006 Chevy, uh, Cobalt SS. I forgot the name for a second. That would be very embarrassing if I actually did truly forget that name. But yeah, so this car has a top speed, uh, this is dealership stats, 141 miles per hour, 180 horsepower, 29 miles per gallon, seats five, front wheel drive, and it weighs um, uh, basically 3,000 pounds. Let's hear a start up here. That doesn't actually sound that bad. Now let's go into realistic here and hear the revs. As you can see, you got a really nice supercharger noise. So this thing is supercharged. I think it's a supercharged four cylinder, but anyways, yeah. So uh, let's take it for a drive here and then we'll get on to the next car. Yes, yeah, so this thing isn't the fastest, but it's just really, it's just really fun to drive. It looks good to me as well. Uh, here are like the blinkers. Yeah, here are the whites, by the way. Yeah, this uh, this does actually have updated lighting, which is the good thing about it. But yeah, let's do a top speed test. By the way, this thing handles real. Uh, this thing handles pretty well, I'd say. Some cars might not handle too well, but yeah. Only thing that drags this thing back is it being front wheel drive, and it's zero to sixty is like seven point three. But yeah, its top speed is one forty one. Let's do the braking test. Yeah, this thing's got pretty good brakes, honestly. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it does handle pretty nicely here. So, yeah, let's get on to the next car. Alrighty, so the second honorable, uh, mention on this list here is the 1999 Mizushimi... S I'm gonna just spell it out. S-Y-Z-Y-G-Y. -Y. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Uh, GSX trim. This doesn't require Game Pass. Oh yeah, I forgot to state the price for the last one. The last one costs 8,000, this costs 7,500. This is the second honorable mention. There will only be two, but uh, yeah, let's hear a cold start here. Let me tell you the specs though. So the GSX goes 136 miles an hour, 160 horsepower, uh, seats for 19 miles per gallon, uh, 2,500 pounds, and it's all wheel drive. Uh, here's a cold start. Yeah, but uh, rather than the fact, I don't really think this car looks the best. It still looks all right, but yeah, the lighting isn't at all updated. As you can see, it still has like those blob lights, which I don't really like, but it's just, yeah. So there are the lights pretty much. Now, uh, let's take this thing out for a drive. Now, one thing, oh geez, that's loud. Now, uh, I won't do a rev on this because if you know, uh, this has basically is the same noise that the BMW uh, M340i and M440i, basically the six cylinder beamers have. So yeah, if you know what that sounds like, you'll know. Here's basically what it sounds like though. So it kind of just sounds like uh, the BMW six cylinder motor, maybe a bit quieter, but yeah, let's get to top speed here. So the top speed is 136. Let's get a uh, brake here. Yeah, this thing does have really good brakes. Uh, as you, if you've ever watched Blocks Wheels video, you'll know this thing is famous for beating that Lamborghini Gallardo and the drag race, which is really, really crazy. Considering that this thing literally costs like $92,500 less. But yeah, anyways, here's basically an acceleration from standstill. Uh, I can't really launch it because I'm on mobile and it's all-wheel drive, but yeah, as you can see, this thing is definitely no slouch, gets up and goes. So yeah, now let's get on to the number 10, to the 10th car on the list. Alright, so coming in at the number 10 spot on the list, we have the 2005 L Grand Horizon, 
Oh yeah, by the way, the real life name for the last car was like the Mitsubishi... I don't know, actually. I think it was a Gallant. No, not a Gallant. It was a... I don't know. I don't know what it was. But yeah, this is based off the Infiniti G35. This is one of the most underrated sports cars in the game easily. This thing is such a blast to drive. It's $16,000, 300 horsepower, which is really good. Rear wheel drive weighs 3,500 pounds, 143 mile per hour top speed, seats four, and it gets 23 miles per gallon. And there is only one trim for it, which is, yeah. So for this video, I will be getting the highest trim of the car that doesn't require a game pass. But yeah, let's take this thing out for a drive here. Yeah, uh, I forgot to do the cold start and all that. Here you go. Here's the cold start, or here's the revs. So it doesn't sound bad, doesn't sound good, but not bad. Here's a startup. Pretty standard Infinity, uh, old Infinity startup. There's nothing really too special about this. It's basically just like an Infinity coupe, but it does handle incredibly well. Okay, I shouldn't say that. Uh, it gets a lot of oversteer, to be honest. It's kind of a, it kind of feels heavy in the corners, but it doesn't really matter because actually in a straight line, this thing is pretty quick. Here's the blinkers though. So yeah, as you can see, this thing does not have updated lighting, which probably means the lights will look like blobs. Yeah, they do. But anyways, here, uh, let's do uh, the top speed run. I don't think I'll be able to do it on this road, but let's try. Yeah, I don't know if I should. I did show. Yeah, the top speed of the other car was 136. So yeah, as you can see, this thing is definitely... Uh, I just had a hiccup. Jeez. This thing is definitely no slouch, gets up and goes really well. Uh, honestly, for 16 grand, this is a really, really nice coupe. Uh, 0 to 60 is like 5 seconds flat, so not horrible, but not good either. But it is definitely enough to have some fun. Top speed is 142, brake test. Okay, the brakes are actually pretty decent on this vehicle. So yeah, anyways, let's get on to the... Uh, ninth car on the list Alrighty, everybody uh so coming in at the number nine or that the ninth spot on the list we have the 2013 bullhorn determinator aka the 2013 dodge challenger rt the rt trim is thirty two thousand dollars it's a top speed of 130 miles an hour 370 horsepower because yes this is a muscle car with a v8 uh, 23 miles per gallon, seats four, rear wheel drive, and it almost weighs 4,000 pounds. So yeah, this thing is definitely heavy. But uh, let's take this thing out for a drive here. Here is the uh, sound. This is a really good startup. As you can see, it definitely sounds aggressive. Here are the revs. So there are the revs. As you can see, the, uh, it doesn't sound the greatest. But it's still pretty good, as you can see. Turning is well, okay. It's a it's a challenger. If you want to get handling, just get like a, a a Camaro or something. Well, not even like just get like a Supra or something. But yeah. Anyways, let's do the top speed test. Now you're thinking this is thirty two grand. What's so special about it? Oh, you'll see. Yeah, you'll you'll see. This thing is quick. So as you can see, it's. Keep in mind, this thing weighs 4,000 pounds, and it gets up and moves really well. Like, I was shocked how fast this thing is. Top speed is 134. Let's do the braking test. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, it definitely brakes really, really well. Here are the blinkers. Uh, and then here are the lights. So, yes, this does technically have updated lighting to where the lights are not blobs, which is really, really nice. So yeah, now let's get on to the 8th car on the list. Alrighty, so coming in at the number 8 spot here, we have the 2021 Western Sergal here. This is basically uh, aka known as the Western Motor Sergal. Uh, this thing is really cool looking. It looks super nice, I think. Uh, this is the S trim because all the other ones do cost a game pass. I got the 5H rims on this car. I think it looks really, really good. But yeah, this car is a top speed of 127 miles per hour, 260 horsepower, 24 miles per gallon rear wheel drive, 3,800 pounds, and it seats four. 
So here's basically the startup. Uh, this is a V6, I'm pretty sure, or a four cylinder, I can't remember. Doesn't sound bad, revs. Sounds good. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a rev limiter preventing you j b just barely from hitting red line, but that's fine. However, this is more of a cruising car. It'll do zero to 60 still though in 5.7. So yeah, it ain't really that much of a slouch and it handles really, really well too. Yeah, I find this to be more of a handling car than a straight line speed car. However, however, if you do get a kit in like, uh, I don't know, uh, a four cylinder Camaro that wants to race, I mean, if you're on PC, you can probably launch it better, but you'll you'll give them a run for their money for sure. This thing is still don't people sleep on this car. It's it's actually decently fast for what it is. It's thirty two thousand dollars, by the way, just like how the last car was thirty two grand. Top speed is one thirty one. Here are the brakes. See, so yeah, brakes pretty well. Now let's get on to the next car. Alrighty, so coming in at the uh, number. Uh, seven spot we have the bmw z4 or i mean uh, the Toy 2021 mark 5 toyota supra this is the two cylinder or the four cylinder one because the other one costs a game pass but the fictional name is the 2021 velfire vr pioneer it is forty three thousand dollars top speed of 154 only 150 horsepower in this game which is not even accurate to real life 3100 pounds so it's pretty light seats two so it's a true sports car Rear wheel drive and it gets 28 miles per gallon. So yeah, this thing is definitely cool. Now let's hear the startup and the revs here. Keep in mind, this is a four cylinder, not a six. If you listen closely, you can hear the new BMW startup chime. Now that is intentional. That is very, very intentional. I think the GV devs put that in on purpose as a bit of a joke. Here are the revs. It sounds pretty good as you can see it has really really updated lighting like the lighting is super super updated so uh yeah but anyways i think i may or may not have forgotten to i forgot to do the lights on this car i'm pretty sure so yeah here they are real quick yeah as you can see really detailed lights but anyways let's get back onto here all right now let's test drive this bad boy. Oh, that... Actually, that's not loud. I just have to lower my game volume. Yeah, so as you can see, this is a four-cylinder, not a six. So, yeah. However, it does handle really nicely. Like, as you can see, that was a pretty sharp turn, and it took it no problem. Now, this is mainly more of a car for the looks than anything. I think this thing absolutely looks awesome. This is, like, one of the best-looking sports cars, in my opinion. But yeah, anyways, let's do a top speed test here. So this will do 0 to 60 in about 5 seconds. So yeah, uh, not the quickest thing ever, but also not too slow. Now, uh, as you can see, that's 70. We're going up a hill, so the acceleration might look like it's slowing down. 100. But yeah, this thing, what this thing has over most of the cars on this list is its top speed is actually pretty good, like... 153 is not slow at, by any standards. Here are the brakes. Yeah, this thing doesn't have the greatest braking, but its handling is really good. So yeah, let's get on to the sixth car on the list or the fifth car on the list. Alrighty, so coming in at the uh, number six spot here, we have the 2021 Falcon Stallion. Uh, this is the EcoBoost trim because the other ones, rather than the ST, require Game Pass, but the ST looks kind of weird to me. Okay, the, S the back of the ST is ugly, but yeah. So this is 300 horsepower, 131 mile per hour top speed, uh, 27 miles per gallon, rear wheel drive, weighs 3,700 pounds, and it seats four. Let's hear the startup here. Keep in mind, this is a four cylinder, so it won't sound the best. Classic Ford chime, you gotta love it. Now, here are the revs. Yep, 
Yes, yeah, so as you can see, it doesn't really necessarily sound the greatest. However, this thing feels really, actually really luxurious. Like, look at this, you got sequential turn signals, which is really, really nice. There are the hazards. I hear the front lights, by the way. Yeah, th yes, this does have updated lighting for all of you people that actually like are curious about that. But yeah, let's get this thing uh, out for a drive here. Now, handling is, well, obviously not the greatest. However, you can drift this car, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, take it for a top speed here. As you can see, once you get into the higher revs, since this is a turbo, the acceleration actually speeds up by a bit, which is pretty nice. Uh, and this is a top speed of 136. Here's the braking test. Uh, not horrible brakes, but also not great brakes. So yeah, anyways, let's get on to the fifth car on the list. Alrighty, so coming in at the number 5 spot on the list, we have the 2007 Falcon Stallion GT. This car is $18,000, 300 horsepower, rear wheel drive, 19 miles per gallon, seats for 3,300 pounds is the weight, and it goes 134 miles per hour, which is really, really nice. Let's hear the startup here. This does 0 to 60 in about 4.7, so pretty nice. Sounds kind of like the Dodge, pretty much. I mean, they're pretty similar engines, I guess. They're both V8s. Except this actually shoots flames, which I find pretty cool. Uh, for all of you people that are curious, here is the lighting. Oh, why is it doing that? Okay, here's the lighting. Yeah, no sequentials on this boy, unfortunately. However, you do get updated lighting uh, in the front. Like, there's no blob lights, which is really, really nice. Yeah, anyways, uh, here is a uh, top speed run. Handling on this thing is actually really good. Like, you'd be surprised how well this handles. But yeah, this is just a plain 5 liter uh, Mustang V8. So, don't expect it to be the quickest. After all, this is a 2007. But yeah, uh, we're getting this thing up to 139 is the top speed. Here's the brake test. Considering how heavy this thing is, it actually's got some really good braking. However, where this thing shines, it actually handles pretty well. Like, I'm surprised how well this thing does handle, in fact. Like, look at that. Yeah, you can take turns in this thing at absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's really, really cool. But yeah, let's get on to the uh, fourth car on the list. Alrighty, so coming in at the number four spot here, we have the 2022 Valfire Climax or the Sumo Climax. Either of them work since one's a BRZ and one's an 86, but yeah, this is the 2022 Toyota 86. Uh, I got mine in the GT trim, which is $31,868. This is 135 horsepower, rear wheel drive, seats for 2,100 pounds. Uh, 28 miles per gallon and it has a top speed of 142 miles per hour. So yeah, here's the uh, startup here Keep in mind this is just a boxer four so it might not sound the best but still pretty cool Also, I like the attention to detail how there's actually like a backup camera right there. That's really nice attention to detail but Yeah, let's uh, let's get this thing out on the road and drive it now, while this might just look like your regular, like, sporty car, it is. It's, you know, for what it is, it's pretty quick in a straight line. However, however, there is one thing. The handling on this thing is possibly one of the best handling cars in Greenville. However, watch the launch. Yeah, this thing actually launches pretty well. When you launch it, it's 0 to 60 is uh, under 5. It's like 4.7 to 4.9, which I do find really good. But yeah, before we uh, test out the handling, here's the top speed test for all you guys that are really curious about that. Alright, so as you can see, acceleration does slow down a bit. However, thanks to the downhill, we're able to get this bad boy to 141 miles per hour. Uh, yeah, it, this thing has really, really good brakes. And uh, yeah, uh, finally, this is what I mean by it has really good handling. So here is the... Uh, I don't know what this place is called, but yeah, as you can see, I, that was like a 50 mile per hour turn, and it does these turns no problem. You can also, like, drift this. Well, that was a failed drift, but here, I'll exit out of here, and I'll show you what I mean. Like, yeah, you can definitely drift this thing. Really fun car, but now let's get on to the number three spot. 
Alrighty, so uh, on the number, on the third spot on the list here, we have the 2021 Narvana Star, aka the 2020, or it's actually a 2022 uh, Nissan 400Z. This thing is really nice. Uh, this is the base trim, obviously, because all the other ones cost a game pass, but yeah. So it has a top speed of 131 miles per hour, uh, 260 horsepower, 24 miles per gallon, seats two, rear wheel drive, and it weighs 3,400 pounds. Here's a startup. Here, actually, let me, let me, uh, there you go. Here's the startup. Once again, I love the attention to detail, how there's like those holes in the exhaust pipes, really nice. Here's the uh, noise. Actually doesn't sound all that bad considering this is a four cylinder, but yeah, here are the blinkers though. Pretty nice blinkers. Uh, here are the lights. This has really, really updated lights. These are like top of the line lights for Greenville. But yeah, uh, let's take this thing out for a drive here. Now let's get on to handling. Handling is well, it's not the best. It's pretty decent. However, if you want handling, I will say go with the Supra over this. But in a straight line, I'm pretty sure this is a bit faster actually. But yeah, let's do a um, let's do a top speed test here. As you can see, this thing launches really, really, really well. As you can see, we're already at 60, 80, 90. 100. Yeah, if you want to uh, gap like Lambos and stuff, well, not Lambos, but like maybe Corvettes, you could, you might be able to do it with this. But yeah, top speed is like 135 to 136 miles per hour, and yeah, it's got very good brakes. So let's get on to the second car. Alrighty, so coming in at the number two spot here, we have the 1996 Bullhorn Ninja uh, TR Twin Turbo. This is actually the base. But yeah, this is a twin turbo six. This is based off the 1996 Dodge Stealth. Uh, it's $13,000, has a top speed of 143 miles per hour, 200 horsepower, 20 miles per gallon, uh, 2,500 pounds, all wheel drive, and it seats four, which is really good. But yeah, here's the, uh, here's the cold start. It's, there's nothing special about the cold, the start, but here's the revs. Doesn't sound too bad. Here's the lighting, by the way. Yeah, this thing does not have updated lighting at all, which means, yeah, in the front, it does have, like, those blob lights, as you can see what I mean. Doesn't look the greatest, but yeah. This this thing really shines in the acceleration, as you can see. This thing is super fast. But, yeah, handling is not that good. However, this is more of a straight-line speed car. Yeah, 143 mile per hour top speed gets up to it incredibly fast. And it brakes pretty well. So yeah, this is more of a drag car than anything. It's kind of a sleeper car. I don't know. Uh, as you know, this thing is also famous in Blocks Wheels video for beating a, a Lamborghini Gallardo, which is really crazy. But yeah, as you can see, that was literally at like uh, turn at like 30, and I couldn't even do that. Well, not 30. Let's actually make a turn at 30. Can you turn at 30? Yeah, you can. Uh, let's try 45 here. Yeah, we're going to start turning all the way from here. Yeah, as you can see, it barely makes it. So yeah, this is overall, though, a pretty good car. So now let's get on to the number one spot on the list. Alrighty, so obviously now you've watched the whole video. And since you have, you can tell if you like my content or not, so feel free to subscribe if you would like. But anyways, here is the final car on the list, the number one, in my opinion, best sports car in Greenville for no game passes. It is the 2013 Chevron Amigo SS. That's right, guys. It is a 2013 Camaro SS, $20,000, um, 426 horsepower, rear wheel drive, 26 miles per gallon, seats for 3,800 pounds, and it has a top speed of 135 miles per hour. Here's the um, sound, I guess. I mean, what do you guys think? Sounds pretty good. Here's the revs. Also spits flames out like the Mustang does. Really, really nice. However, let's uh, drive this thing. Now, this thing has a 0 to 60 of under 4 seconds, and it's 20 grand. Yeah, this thing is 
absolutely a sleeper. Now, yes, it's a Camaro, so it's fast to begin with, but watch this. Pull up the good old stopwatch. All right, watch this. Three, two, one, go. 3.49 seconds. You can probably get even better if you're on PC. Yeah, this thing is so incredibly fast, guys. It's ridiculous. Let's get on to a top speed test, however. Top speed seems to be 139 to 140. Brake test. It's honestly got pretty good brakes. Here are the lights, by the way. This thing, I'm pretty sure, has the updated lighting. Yes, it does. So it definitely passes lighting. But yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.